So if you have candida and you've been trying to heal it by doing one of those anti-candida diets and the diet isn't working, then you might think it's your fault. You might think, oh, that means I'm not following the diet closely enough. And so you double down on following the diet. But what you might not know is how all of that's actually making your candida worse. Because candida feeds on the core that says you're not good enough. And so if, then if you try to f cure your candida by following one of these ultra strict rigid diets that are based on the idea that candida feeds on sugar and so you got to take all the sugar out of your diet in order to heal the candida, taking all the sugar out of your diet is freaking impossible. The human body needs some forms of sugar and there are reasons that you might be craving the sugar that have nothing to do with candida but are made worse by candida. And meanwhile, every time you feel like you're failing at this diet, every time you feel like you're still, your body's still not healthy and it's your fault, it feeds the subconscious core wound that says, I'm not good enough. So, you know, if I had anything to say about it, I would tell everybody who has candida, stop trying to diet, stop trying to do these anti-candida diets. You're just making it worse. Instead, address the subconscious causes address the feelings of unworthiness, feeling not good, good enough, address all the patterns that you've learned that keep you from being in touch with your body and know what your body needs. Your body's trying to tell you all the time what it needs. And, and if you were able to hear that and respect it and trust it, trust what your body is telling you, then following those messages would make so much more sense than following what somebody else written in a book or on a website has told you is what your body needs. How does that make any sense, right? How does it make sense that somebody in an office or a laboratory across the country knows better for you than your own body? And yet we've been taught that they are the, the authorities of our bodies. So when I work with my clients, for example, in, in a program like Conquering Candida, our focus is on those subconscious patterns, helping you stop guilting yourself, helping you get back in touch with your body, honoring your inner authority. And it helps not just with Candida, but with every aspect of your life. So if you have been using a, a, a Candida diet to try and heal your Candida, just think about this today. Think about whether it's actually helping you or if it just piles on the not good feelings.